सो हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू कोर्स एंड द नेम ऑफ द कोर्स इज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगरिदम्स सो दिस इज अ मोस्ट फंडामेंटल इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कोर्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस सो प्लीज लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन द बोर्ड नाउ वट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ए डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एक्चुअली ए नथिंग बट ए कंटेनर ऑफ डेटा एज वॉट आर इज टू ए कंटेनर a data ought to be a data structure that means in simple words data structure is nothing but a container that can hold our data now why these data structures are required actually in in our everyday life in every moment in every second we are dealing with so many informations and at the same time that billions of data are getting transferred from one part of the world to another world so it is very important and it is very much required that to efficiently organize those data because whenever in on the latter stage we will uh, perform some operation on those data so if it is not managed properly if it is not organized properly it is not if it is not structured properly then we cannot search those data we cannot delete any data if it is required if we cannot insert any new data or elements or records in these structures okay so it is very important to efficiently organize those data in data structures okay now what is the um, classification of data structure so data structure can be broadly classified into two categories data structure so it can be broadly classified into two different categories the number one is linear data structure linear data structure and the next one is non linear data structure now this linear data structure can again be classified into two different categories the number one is sequential and the second one is linked now this sequential data structure are of four types mainly so the sequential linear data structure the examples of this type are array number 2 is stack then number 3 is cube and last one is priority queue priority queue so these four are the linear sequential data structure now in the link part the link part can there are actually three types of data structures available the number one is linked list then linked stacks and finally linked queues okay so these three are of linked linear type now the examples of non linear data structure basically there are two types of non linear data structure available the one is tree and another one is the graph so this is the classification of data structure now we will be familiar with each and every topic very minutely with the help of adequate number of programming that will be implemented through c language now the next question is that what is what are the application areas where we can implement the data structure so main application areas of data structures are for numerical analysis for compiler designing for operating systems 
इन डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और सिमुलेशन पर्पज सो दीज आर द ब्रॉड एरियाज वायर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स कैन बी अप्लाइड बिकॉज इन ईच एंड एवरी डोमेन द डेटाज आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड इफ डेटाज आर रिक्वायर्ड इट हैज़ टू बी मैनेज प्रॉपरली इट हैज़ टू बी ऑर्गेनाइज इन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर सो इफ इट हैज़ टू बी ऑर्गेनाइज इन स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर सो डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो दैट्स वाई इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ वॉट आर द ऑपरेशन दैट वी कैन परफॉर्म ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स so now we'll check the operations that we can perform on data structures so data structure operations so we can perform various types of operations in a data structure so mainly the following are the operations that we can perform number 1 is inserting now what is inserting inserting means if we want to add or insert a new element or new record in that structure so it is called inserting now number 2 is deleting now deleting means if we want to remove some existing elements or existing records from the existing structure so it is a removal process so this process is called deletion and the operation is called deletion operation okay now the next one is searching okay now searching operation means we are going to find that whether a particular element or particular record is present in the structure or not if the element is present that we are searching in the structure if it is present then it will be a successful searching otherwise it will be an unsuccessful searching so this operation is called searching operation number 4 traversing traversing so what is traversing traversing it is sometimes also called as visiting so uh, it means that to visit each and every nodes each and every elements exactly once okay so there will be no duplicate visit each and every element each and every record will be visited exactly once so this so this process is called traversing process okay now number 5 operation is called sorting okay now sorting means what sorting means if we want to organize the data if we want to arrange those data that those who have already stored in the structure in some logical order logical order means it can be stored from least to highest in this manner that means from starting from the smallest element to the largest element so this is called ascending order arrangement and if we want to um, uh, arrange the list from lowest from highest element to the lowest element so this arrange, arrangement will be termed as descending order so either ascending or descending in any way we can arrange the elements Ah, through this uh, in this data structure so this operation is called sorting operation and the final operation that we can perform is called called merging operation m e r g i n g merging operation so merging means what merging means if we want to uh create a list from two sorted list okay so suppose you have one sorted array and you have another sorted array so if you want to create the resultant sorted array with the help of this two sorted array then this two sorted array has to be merged to create the final um uh, array so this is called the merging operation okay so this basically this four types of operation that inserting deleting searching traversing sorting and merging this four kind of operation six kind of operations we can perform on data structure so my dear students i have discussed today that what is the definition of data structure and why the data structure is required actually then what are the basic um, um, uh, types of data structures available that means classification of data structure and what are the application area the where we can apply the data structure actually in most of the cases most of the areas data structure has to be implemented if you are dealing with data and these are the six various operations that we can perform on data structures so in my upcoming videos i will discuss this each and every operations that how can you perform these operations um in data structure with the help of programs okay so i i hope that you have enjoyed this lectures 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज़ टेक केयर हैव अ नाइस डे थैंक यू